Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss one of the very frequently asked placement programming question. And the question says, given an array of integers, return index positions of two numbers such that they add to a specific target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. Okay, this problem already I have discussed in my previous videos. I will give the simple solution whatever I have discussed in my previous video in the description box if you want you can check there so for example suppose our uh, input array is 2 7 11 59 and our target is 9 so we can clearly see 2 plus 7 will give me 9 so that our output should be 0 and 1 these two index positions now what is the simple solution I will take one for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than nums dot length i plus plus one for loop for traversing another for loop for uh, int j equal to i plus 1 j less than nums dot length j plus plus that is from i plus 1 index another for loop i will traverse and uh, i will check that whether nums of i plus nums of j equal to equal to our target or not if we are getting well and good store those index i and j and break that that's all simple solution but the simple solution takes o of n square time complexity which is not acceptable it may pass all the test cases but it will give you time complexity error and due to that in many uh, companies uh, like uh, if you consider hacker rank platform many companies uh, for placement process they uh, take exam on hacker rank in hacker rank and those platforms obviously you will get time complexity error if you if your code works o of n square in this particular example so try to think about one algorithm which can be used to solve this particular problem in o of n time complexity no matter how many for loops you are taking but the matter is that you can not use nested for loop okay so here i am discussing one very very easy and efficient way this is going to be very helpful simple concept to remember if you remember this concept then well and good you can simply run this if your luck comes well and you will get the same question like i told you lots of companies ask the question like in my placement time methods are the same question and i have used the simple solution method and uh, i got time complexity error and I was not qualified for the next round so i don't want that you miss this uh, kind of good companies opportunities so uh, not only i am talking about my videos check from geeks for geeks checks from articles of uh, to some check from different discussion in lead code try to uh, remember some tricks to solve different different problems which frequently appears okay so here what we can do we can take one hash set okay so hash set integer a equal to new hash set integer idea is very simple i will traverse from beginning to the end once only one time i will traverse and what i will do each time before inserting an element in the hash set i will check whether target minus that element is already present in the hash set or not if target minus current element is already present in the hash set that means there is a pair and no need to move further we have to give only one index position right exactly one solution it is given so that we will not iterate uh, further so basically this is the only logic you have to remember that before inserting uh, the one element you have to check whether target minus that element already present in the hash set or not and hash set you can check very easily using contents keyword no need to use uh, searching algorithm so has set integer a equal to new has set integer in temp equal to 0 i have defined later we will use this for int i equal to 0 i less than nums dot length i plus plus if a dot contains target minus nums of i as soon as this condition is satisfied that means already the pair we have achieved that one is nums of i and another one is target minus nums of i which is already present in the has set previously it is stored so what we will do we will define this one temp equal to nums of i and then break else if it is not satisfied then we have to add that element for future iteration in the hash set right so a dot add nums of i so basically one pair we are one uh, element we are getting here nums of i and another element is nothing but target minus nums of i right which is already stored in the hash set previously so in the gem equal to target minus temp so now we got the pair which will add up to this particular target one is temp which is storing nums of i one is gem which is storing target minus temp or target minus nums of i which is already stored in the hash set now just i have to find out those two index positions where gem and temp is there okay 
So int jump equal to temp minus target target minus temp we have done. Then int result equal to new int two because our return type should be one integer. So two index only we have to return. Uh, like for for the test case sample test case itself we can see so first we will find where jump is there for int i equal to 0 i less than nums dot length i plus plus if nums of i equal to equal to jump result of 0 that is 0 the index we have to store the i and then break why i am checking jump is uh, in which index position first not temp because see jump is appearing first right because jump is target minus temp which is already stored in the hash set previously from this algorithm itself we can understand jump is already stored so jump should jump index should be returned first then temp index so that i have written like this result of zero equal to i and break okay now again from the beginning we will traverse no, we will traverse from result of 0 plus 1 because at result of 0 we are getting jump. So for finding or searching temp, we have to start from result of 0 plus 1 because it is written that you may not use the same element twice. Okay, so int i equal to result of 0 plus 1, i less than nums dot length i plus plus if nums of i equal to equal to temp, result of 1 equal to i, we, we will store the temp index in the uh, second index position of the result array and then break because no need to move further our pair we have found out then return result that's all so let me submit this and show you uh, what is the time complexity efficiency using this particular hash set approach this is very important and I am telling you frequently uh, this question appears okay so sorry one second some net problem is there um, let me just yeah now let us check uh, submission it is taking some time due to net problem like uh, okay this is, is asking for subscription let me just copy this and just uh, refresh this page because it is not working. Okay, now let me submit this. Yep. Now you can see runtime is faster than 99.89% of Java online submission. So that means it is very much efficient. Memory usage is not okay. You can optimize with respect to memory, but in the exam, mostly time complexity is checked. Okay. So I hope you have understood this. Same code I am going to post in the comment section. If you want, you can check there. Thank you for watching.